Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. Princess and the Marbles. A princess has to look and act just right, or she's simply not a real princess. <laughs> Royal Berry. Perfect. Hello! Max, what are you doing down there? Marbles! You've got to play with those marbles somewhere else, Max. I need to get ready for the prince's ball. Oh, and now my lipstick is all smeared. <laughs> there. La da 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 do. You've really got to watch where you put those marbles. We princesses are very sensitive. You know what sensitive means, don't you, Max? Marbles? <laughs> it means princesses have very special feelings. They feel things that normal bunnies don't even notice. <sighs> hmm, you know what, Max? I've got a bunny tale book that'll show you just how sensitive we princesses are. Do you want me to read it to you? <laughs> okay. This story is called The Princess and the Marble. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a queen who lived with her grandson, the prince. Good shot, Prince Max. I wonder who that could be at this late hour. Oh, my! When she opened the door, she saw a bunny she'd never seen before. Thank you, Queen Grandma. Oh, I'm so glad I finally found you. I'm your long-lost granddaughter, Princess Ruby. And you must be Prince Max, my bunny brother. You must have missed me so much. My granddaughter was lost in the enchanted forest when she was just a wee bunny. That's right. And I've been searching for you ever since. <gasps> what on earth is all over the floor? Marbles! Well, you should find a better place to put them, Prince Max. Someone could get hurt. Uh, 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 now, you, you must be very tired after your long journey, my dear. Why don't you go and get cleaned up? Thank you, Queen Grandma. I really am very tired. Well, come with me, child. I'll fill up the tub so you can have a nice warm bath. Marbles. La da 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 da. But how could Queen Grandma know for sure that this bunny was really a princess? There must be some way we can find out. Marbles? Oh, I'd love to have another game with your Prince Max, but I... Oh, wait a minute. That's a great idea, Prince Max. Let's have one of those marbles. Now... We have to make the bed much more comfortable for our long-lost princess, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Together, Queen Grandma and Prince Max made the princess's bed for an extra special night's sleep. You see, princesses are very sensitive, and they feel things that average ordinary bunnies just can't feel. Do you understand? <laughs> Marble. Right, Prince Max. You know where it goes, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> 
So Prince Max put the marble underneath all the mattresses. In the morning, we'll know if she's a real princess or not. <laughs> wow, that looks like a really comfortable bed. I can't wait to get a good night's sleep. Good night, Queen Grandma. Good night, Prince Max. our little princess this morning. Not that well rested, I'm afraid. Oh, didn't you sleep well, dear? I thought we gave you enough mattresses. I don't like to complain, Queen Grandma, but even though you gave me all those soft mattresses, it still felt like I was lying on a big lump. I didn't sleep a wink all night. Really? I wonder what caused that. Marble. Huh? What was that doing there? Only a real princess would be sensitive enough to feel a marble under all those mattresses. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Come on, let's play marbles. And they all lived happily ever after in the castle. The end. Oh, I just love that story. So you see, Max, you really should play marble somewhere else. Because you wouldn't want a sensitive princess like me to get hurt, right? Oh, ow! Why is the bed so lumpy? Aha! Uh -huh. Why did you put it there? Princess! <laughs> oh, Max! <laughs> Emperor Max's new suit! Look at all these lovely hats. There's something a grandma can never have enough of. <laughs> and look at those cute little outfits, Max. You sure could use a new suit. <laughs> no new suit. Well, it's always fun to look. Hats, hats, and more hats. The suits are over this way, Max. No new suit. Come on, Max. Just try a couple on. <laughs> what do you think of this? There's got to be one here that's just right for you. Oh, how about this one? Max? Oh. Is this one any better? <laughs> You're right. Too feathery. There you are. Look at the nice new suit I found for you. No new suit. Well... There's plenty more to choose from. Let's have another look. You never really know until you try it on. I guess we all should keep looking. Here's a jazzy little jacket. Just try this on. Are you ready, Max? Stylish. Perfect. 
perfect. No new suit. <sighs> okay, I'll go look again. How about this one? <laughs> Come on, Max. Remember what Grandma said. You never know what it looks like until you try it on. Good. Ooh, very elegant. But it still needs something. <gasps> oh, this beautiful bow tie. Gotcha. No new suit. Oops. Who's that hiding? <laughs> You're being way too picky, Max. You remind me of the emperor in that bunny tail. You know the one I mean? Oh, I'll have to tell it to you then. It's called Emperor Max's New Suit. Once upon a time in Bunny Tail Land, there was an emperor named Max and a royal tailor named Ruby. Ruby the tailor made many fine suits for the emperor, but Emperor Max was way too picky and didn't like any of them. How do you like the new suit I made for you? No new suit. So Ruby the tailor came back again and again with new suit she'd made for Emperor Max. didn't think any of the suits were special enough for him. Then, one day, Ruby the tailor got an idea. She pretended she had a special suit in her hands that was so amazing, only very special bunnies could see it. I knew you'd like it. Try it on. <laughs> oh, it fits you perfectly. Just one thing missing. There. Fit for an emperor. Emperor Max loved his special new suit so much, he decided to show it off to all his loyal subjects. Are Emperor Max. Now, do you think that you were being a bit too picky about your suits? <laughs> so Emperor Max put on the nice new suit that Ruby the tailor had made for him, and he was never so picky again. So, Max, are you ready to try on a new suit now, just like Emperor Max? <laughs> okay. Now, let me see. Oh, here's one. You 
put it on and I'll go get Grandma. <laughs> okay, Max. Grandma's here to see your... Huh? <laughs> New suit! Max and the Three Little Bunnies. La, 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 la. Your blimp toy just puffed and blew down our dollhouse, Max. Puff! Please try to be more careful, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, little brothers. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Puff! Looks like we've got company, Ruby. Oh, no! Max? I thought you were going to be more careful with this. Puff? Hmm. You don't want to be like the big Max wolf in the Three Little Bunnies story, do you? Haven't I told you that bunny tail before? <laughs> okay. Once upon a time in bunny tail land, there was a big Max wolf who liked to show how big and powerful he was. He'd huff. And he'd puff, and boy, could he ever puff. Puff! <gasps> Blow out birthday candles on other bunnies' birthday cakes. Puff! And send sailboats sailing across the water. <gasps> Then, one day, he came upon three little bunnies making houses for themselves. One little bunny made hers out of straw. One little bunny made hers out of sticks. And the other little bunny made hers out of bricks. What do you want, Big Max Wolf? Puff, you can try to blow my house down, but I don't think you can do it. So Big Max Wolf huffed and he puffed. <gasps> and he blew the house down. Puff. What 
can I do for you, Big Max Wolf? Puff. My house is made of sticks, and they're very strong, so you won't be able to blow my house down. So Big Max Wolf huffed, and he puffed. <gasps> and down came the second little bunny's house. <laughs> Finally, the big Max Wolf decided to see if he could blow down the house made of bricks. Poof! The third little bunny wanted Big Max Wolf to stop, so she came up with a deal. You can try puffing, but if you can't blow my house down, you have to agree to stop once and for all. Poof! So the big Max Wolf huffed <gasps> and he puffed. But he couldn't blow down the house made of bricks. <laughs> and he agreed never to puff again. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so you see, if your blimp is near our paper dollhouse, you'll puff it down like the Big Max wolf. You don't want to do that, do you? I didn't think so. Okay, now we can play with our dollhouse again. The Big Max Wolf won't be bothering us anymore. to start over again. Heads up! Oh, oh no! It's coming! <laughs> I thought Max wasn't going to be like the Big Max Wolf anymore. Wait a second. Maybe we shouldn't be making a paper dollhouse at all. <laughs> right. I get it. There. We built our dollhouse out of bricks, just like the little bunny in the story. Nothing will blow it down. Not even Big Max Wolf and his... Puff! 